When you first step onto a college campus, it can be a big transition. The campus can feel distant, lonely, overwhelming. There are so many paths to choose. Whether we realize it or not, there is a hole in each of us that only God can fill. I was first introduced to FCA after getting in some trouble uh, with the law here in the city in 2006. Got into some trouble with some of my teammates and um, after that was in the locker room and Chris Morgan just walked in and he walked up to me and he said, hey man, what you did was stupid, uh, but I love you. And if you'll stop running from God, he can really use you. And I was just drawn to that challenge. I was drawn to his love for me, his unconditional love for me. And he invited me just to come and to start checking out Bible studies, FCA Bible studies, and I did. I actually heard about FCA on my visit here. And that was one of the reasons why I came here, because I thought, wow, I want to grow in my faith. Got the opportunity to be a part of FCA. I was like, wow, this, this campus is more than what just it is on the outside. And I loved the community here. I found myself comparing every school that I went to back to here. First week I was on campus, I remember Chandler Dale and Colin Lyman were just telling everybody, hey, come to FCA, there'll be chicken sandwiches and pretty girls. And that was enough, that was enough. I was, I was hooked. So I. I've been going to FCA for the last three years and it's just, it's been a huge part of my life. I went and it's changed my life because I've learned to read the Bible, to study the Bible, and I've learned to always do the next right thing, and I've learned to love unconditionally. We are people for 50, 60 different countries and we can all grow here together and we can take it with us home and help it grow there too. I think it's very interesting how God is working his way. What FCA is doing is it's stepping into the brokenness. It's stepping into the darkness and it's offering hope that victory in sports could never deliver. Man, my life before Christ, it was, it was a rough road, man. I mean, I felt lost. I felt like I had no guidance. I didn't really feel like I had a purpose. I was losing my drive and I just, I wasn't Morgan. I just went from high school to college and it's like I lost myself in the mix. And then I kind of put myself back into the mix by letting God into my life, so. Um, I'm a completely different person since I've been going to FCA. Chris is like almost my real dad to me. And I mean, just anything I need to talk about, I can. I mean, me and Chris, we done sat down and talked about some real things about my life, about what's going on in my life. I mean, he's helped me out in bad times. What, what is awesome to watch is when the young men come in and when they leave, the, the difference in who they become in the process. And, and again, for us, as they come in, our hope is, is that, that while we have them, our responsibility is help them reach their potential so that when they leave, that they're prepared to be successful in whatever endeavor. A part of that is that spiritual component. It's a component that makes them whole. And you cannot separate those three that they are connected and, and so connected. And you can see when they are growing physically and mentally and spiritually all collectively, they're certainly um, put in a place where they're not only reaching their potential, but have the impact then when they leave here to uh, make massive gains in the world. You know, we, we use the phrase, win the day, uh, and we challenge our kids. It's much more than just winning games. Um, it's growing, and it's growing on and off the field, and the longer I coach, uh, the more I realize the seeds we plant um, and the things we teach these guys is, is very important for their future. I think FCA is vital on the University of Louisville campus because Division I athletes face an incredible amount of pressure from all kinds of different arenas. They've got pressure to perform in the classroom, there's pressure to perform on the field, there's pressure to perform in the community. 
um, people are constantly looking at them and they're saying, um, I approve of you or I don't approve of you based on what you do for me, what you do for our program. And I think what FCA is doing is it's coming onto their turf, it's coming into their world and it's saying, I don't want anything from you. Uh, I don't need anything from you. I want to show you the one who's given everything for you. People can always ask me, they always say, you know, how do you keep such a big smile on your face when you, you know, you're injured or you're not able to do what you want to do? And I'm like, well, it's God. You know, I just, he I always just have positivity. There's no, I'm never worried about anything. I'm never stressed about not coming back or not being as strong as I was before because I have full faith in him that he's gonna get me back where I was. Not everybody has a perfect life. And when they need somebody to talk to, their family is 300 miles away, 600 miles away, depending on where you live, just to have somebody close that you can call family and talk to about anything. And I think that really helped the football team. So now I think probably half of the football team, maybe more, goes to FCA probably every Monday now. You know, when people look at Louisville as an athletic program, every team is great. I mean, we're so well-rounded. And I'd say we're also well-rounded in the fact that, I mean, we have a ton of FCA involvement um, from every team. I think that's really cool. My walk. Um, as a man, as a husband, as a father, as a coach, as a Christian, um, has been enhanced tremendously because of my association with these, with these men. And it comes through encouragement, it comes through guidance, it comes through accountability. And these become bonds oftentimes that will last throughout a lifetime. So they're, they're teammates, they're classmates, they're fellow Cardinals. You affect the people. Uh, you affect universities, cities, states, you know, countries. Um, you know, when you trust God and you let God do His thing, it's amazing. I have girls in my small group from St. Louis, from Tennessee, from Maryland, and to see the Lord work through them this semester specifically with our small group has been unreal. I think that's the main reason why I was here and why I was placed here is to help my journey grow um, in, 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 order, in order to lead other people to a man that has completely wrecked and changed my life. This last weekend my mom was in town and she was like, so and so's mom was so thankful that her daughter's in your small group. And it's just like, I don't even know the impact that God is doing on these girls' hearts, but he is, like even if I don't see it. I don't know, I've always looked at people who are very religious as, oh, I wanna live that life because it's so beautiful. And she actually helped me get into that life and now I live that beautiful life with God. You take away the wins a lot, you take off the paths we're all alike. I think impacting people, uh, making a difference in somebody's life. I, I want I want players to go, man that, that guy loved me, that guy cared for me. You know one of the things that Chris always says is that FCA or this ministry is not about three initials FCA but it's about Jesus Christ and Him ushering in the kingdom of God. And He's allowing us to be a part of that, a very small part of that, but a part of that. And so I think that's what's so special about uh, what's happening at FCA is they're pointing people to the name that's above every name. And that's the name of Jesus. I want my legacy to be one that is not just another face through the University of Louisville, but one that pointed people to the one who saved me. I would say just take all the things you see Christ doing to you and just give as much as it away as you can. I want people to look at me and be like, I can see God living through him. That's, that's really what I want. If I could say that one person um, received the Lord, I think that would be super. So I think through FCA, through churches in Louisville, through soccer and our sport, we're continually learning and shaping what our identity looks like away from that. And I think that's just a beautiful thing that is gonna be eternal and that's gonna be forever and that one day when we get to be face to face with God, hopefully he can look at us and say, you have been a good and faithful servant.